Okay, so today we are going to go through the process of reading a piece of art. Have you ever gone to a sculpture park or a museum and you just were kind of confused about what you were looking at and you just gave up and walked away? Um, I think the amount of time someone spends looking at art is like three seconds something very short because when you don't know where to start you know it makes sense to give up so there is a process to, it's called a model that a professor named Edmund Feldman created he was a academic at the University of Georgia and while he was an educator and artist he developed this way of seeing art so the format or model that he developed is four steps. The first is to describe. The second is to analyze. The third is to interpret. And the fourth is to evaluate. So we're going to be looking at this work that I saw at PAM, the Perez Art Museum in downtown Miami. This artist, her name is Ferelli Baez. She actually was a local artist, but her career started to take off and she moved to New York where she currently lives. But this is what's called a museum label or wall label. So when you're in a museum, typically there's a label next to it where it talks about what you're looking at. So kind of assist the viewer in, in interpreting the work. But the credit line is what's at the top. So the name of the artist, the title of the work, so this is called Sans Souci, the year it was made, 2015, the material, acrylic uh, and ink on linen. So this is a painting, it was pretty large and it, it was beautiful, like it just kind of captivated you, you know, there's, anyway, I'm not going to give it away, but on the right, you see a detail of this, this scarf that's on her head. But anyway, the first step is to describe. So you want to list. You're not giving opinion. You're not talking about how the work makes you feel. You're simply just listing what you see. So in this painting, I see a woman without a face. I see a head scarf. I see what look like shells. And I also see some kind of green greenery, like a plant that's coming around her shoulder and there's nothing in the background. So you see how I just simply listed what I saw in the painting. And you wanna say the technique. So in art, there's different techniques. You can use collage, watercolor, sculpture, craft there's many ways of making so you want to say exactly what technique you're looking at so this would be a painting and then like i went over the credit line so you're putting that in the first step of interpreting a work the second step is to describe the elements of art so we already know the elements are line shape form color texture so you're gonna go through the elements and describe where you see those elements. So in terms of color, you know, the headscarf is mostly white, but there's a lot of texture, implied texture. So it almost looks like you could feel the ruffles and the bumps in the fabric. There's also texture in the leaf that's coming around her neck. As far as the face of the human, it's kind of like this watery kind of bleeding texture. The color scheme is pretty simple. It's only white, gray, and this kind of warm, neutral. So you're gonna go through all of the elements of art and list what you see. Be specific, don't just say, oh, it's colorful. Really give detail as to where and what in the composition you're referring to. The third step is to interpret. So this is basically when you're making an educated guess, a hypothesis. So just like in science, you know, you don't know what you're making a guess, an educated guess of what 
you're looking at. So there's no wrong answer. Remember, art is subjective. So there's not one answer. You could feel something about the work and the person next to you could have a completely different interpretation. But for me, um, I think this work is talking about this weight, this feeling of being a human, maybe a particular kind of human, a specific culture. Um, since this artist is from the Caribbean, you know, that would make sense. She's from the DR, so the kind of oceanic patterns in the headscarf could be talking about her relationship to living on an island that's like kind of lonely, you know, islands are divided and it looks somber, you know, she, she doesn't have a face, so it's hard to tell what what she's communicating but from the eye the gaze in the eyes you know it looks sad i see a sad individual that's kind of weighted down by this this loneliness that she's experiencing so that was number three i interpreted the work i'm guessing as to what the message that the artist is trying to communicate is and then the last step number four is evaluating so you're communicating whether you think this artist did a good job at executing what you hypothesized so for example i'm hypothesizing that the message of this work is about the loneliness of being a woman in the caribbean and I now in step four say if i think that she did a good job at communicating that so I'm going to say yes, she did communicate that message very well, based particularly on the expression or lack of expression on the face and the way the eyes and the color scheme just kind of float in space. So that is number four, you're giving reason as to why you think it's successful or not.